Hey, Sarah. I'm getting too used to this. How long? Weeks. Relax. You haven't missed much. The Ark and the Sleepers, they're safe in the Sphere? You better like where we parked, because it's home now. The sleepers wake to an amazing view. We did it, Dad. What about your implant and Sam? I am once again helping the Pathfinder activate Remnant. Our connection has been restored to normal. Normal? You need him again? I need Sam to make it easier. I was adapting, but damage was being done. We need to be careful, Sarah. The Nexus leaders are waiting, Pathfinder. Duty calls. 
Better not keep them waiting. It never ends. The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. All right, get to it. What's so important? Initiative protocol. Thanks to you, we can finally proceed as intended. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice. A true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather, you must nominate someone. Interim ambassador? To what and for who? To the Nexus. The eventual goal was always a galactic council, but Meridian has... accelerated concerns. An Ark has landed. The vaults may make outposts self-sufficient. And we can't claim to represent a sovereign Angara. An interim ambassador would represent concerns outside the Nexus, until elections when we can all step aside. At the appropriate time. I can handle a hot potato, but why throw it to me in the first place? Because we need it to be legitimate. We can't impose a vote on the Angara. Or even Kadara. Eladin? <laughs> Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree, but they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. I put forward Pathfinder Hager. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. But Hager keeps the position, and the timeline, in the Nexus family. It feels like the original intent was to give that voice to the outposts. August Bradley's a proven leader. On a considerably smaller scale. He's kept Eos relatively stable, despite no militia presence. If we want stability, maybe we should ensure the Krogan stay. What if it was Morda? <laughs> you are out of your mind. It's definitely unorthodox. This representative should be one of the people actually doing the work. First outpost? First Ambassador. Bradley's my choice. Safe enough. Nothing disruptive from Meridian's opening day. Something by the book for once. Sarah is feeling better. Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. There's more to life than this.
Pathfinder. The lowrider. The last thing they said before crime. What's new? This is what I expected. It's better. All ship shape here. Hey, Ryder. How's Sarah? Much better. There might be two Riders around soon. Imagine. The Hyperion's forming scientific teams. Gotta start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. That'll be exciting. Meridian rewrites all kinds of physical laws. Maybe they'll name a new law after you. Something about never staying in one place? This is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. Bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps to understand all this. Until we're at the top of the mountain. And seeing the next horizon. If we weren't off the map before, we definitely are now. With so much power in our hands, you think it'll be okay? Small steps, like you said. There's no rush to figure all this out. Right. If nothing else, Meridian gives us time. Whatever happens, you gave everyone an incredible gift. Nice job, Pathfinder. <laughs> so this is how you all party, hmm? <laughs> Pretty tame, but don't tell the host I said that. Meridian is amazing, though. You accomplished the inconceivable. <laughs> <laughs>